today I'm going to go through and rank all of the achievements in Pet Simulator 99 and tell you which ones are the easiest and which ones take the longest to get. In order for you to get the most amount of clan points in the next two weeks before the event is over. Now, this tier list took a long time to make because I went through and did rough calculations for almost every single achievement in the game. So if you like this, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. We make content like this all the time. I upload almost every day. And we also do giveaways on every video. So make sure to comment your Roblox username down below to be entered into the giveaway. You get bonus points if you comment something positive. But besides that, that's all you have to do. Without further ado, we're going to get right into it because there's so many achievements in the game and there is a lot to talk about. All right, so keep in mind, I have three accounts and I have all of them to 50 achievements. So I'm kind of multitasking right now to get the easiest achievements on each one. But I promise you, I did a good amount of research for each of these achievements to give you the best idea on what you should be grinding to get those stars. Now, also keep in mind that this list isn't completely in order from best best to worst it's just kind of a general list of some easy ones going down to the harder ones and I also rank them in two categories that being the time it takes to actually complete it and then the price that it actually takes to buy the stuff to complete it the first on the list of achievements that I have that are easiest to complete is actually the gold pets achievement so you need a gold a total of 9250 pets in order to get this achievement so you basically just need 92,500 pets and you can instantly get the whole achievement for this I'd say most people do this naturally they don't need to be high tier or anything they they could be from the first egg for all I care they just have to be regular pets all right next is something you probably already have done as well it's open 1.1 million eggs you could do this in roughly a little over 24 hours if you have 50 egg opens unlocked so this is something that takes some time but you could do pretty quickly again it doesn't need to be the top level eggs it just needs to be any egg so you can open the first egg and that is okay so if you don't have this just consider opening eggs overnight and the benefit of doing this is you also get a 4 million rat book, so it is not too bad to do anyways. We're just going to go right into the next one, which is break a million breakables. So you could do that anywhere. If you don't have strong pets and you want to just do this as fast as possible, you could just go to the lower areas. Most of you probably already have this unlocked. It's pretty easy to do. You also have an achievement that requires you to hatch 2,000 shiny pets. It's pretty impossible to tell how long this will take because it depends on your luck stat. It depends on your luck books, your luck potions, as well as whatever game passes you have. So I would say it takes about 48 hours of opening eggs on average. It's easy as just opening eggs while you're asleep. So just go ahead and do that and pop a bunch of lucky books. Next on this list is upgrading enchants. I actually don't have this unlocked on this character, but as I said, I have two other characters that do have this unlocked. So I'm just going through the list and doing them all in bunches. But basically, you need to upgrade 6,000 enchants. If you do the lowest level, that's basically 18,000 enchant books. At an average price, you can do this for basically 1.7 million diamonds, and then you get about a million back worth of books. So it's not that bad. It doesn't cost too much and it's definitely something you should do because you can do this instantly as long as you have the books. Following that, we have the upgrade potions. So I also don't have that on this account yet, but basically you need to upgrade about 9,000 potions. Starting at the lowest potion level, that's basically 27,000 potions. If you don't have potions already, that's going to cost you about 3.5 million diamonds and you're going to get about 2 million diamonds back. A little more expensive, but it's another instant one where you can get three stars for your team. So it is pretty good and high on this list. All right, so next is the rainbow achievement. You basically got to upgrade 6,000 pets to rainbow, which is about 60,000 gold pets. So this one's a little more expensive, but it's another instant one you can do. You just need to get 60,000 gold pets. And if you're part of a big clan, there's probably people that will be able to give you these pets, especially people that open a ton of eggs. They'll have probably millions of these things. So just go ahead and ask around. 
Or worst comes to worst, just buy some in the trading plaza. I'm sure some people will be selling it. It will take a while to buy, but not impossible. So next on the list, I actually have the flags achievement, which requires you to place down 6,250 flags. So this one's going to cost you about 1.2 million in flags, but you're going to actually get back about 4.5 million worth of these exotic treasure flags, as well as these fortune flags in the diamonds. So it's not bad money wise, but it does take a while. Basically, if you go down all 99 areas and place down 25 in each, it's going to give you around 2,500. You must wait for each flag to disappear in order for it to count towards the achievement. This is something that I've seen people macro and they can do it automatically and set to go. I believe you should be able to go around the map on an empty server and place 2,500 of them. And then you just got to wait out the flag time at least. So just grind in that area for the next two hours. All right, so this next achievement is to shoot down 6,700 balloons. I couldn't get any confirmed testing on how long it takes to find a balloon, but usually I can find one when I'm in this area up here. Oh, here we go. We found one right now. Well, it's not that hard to find one. You don't find a lot of them. So honestly, I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete this achievement. I need 200 on each of my accounts just to get the first achievement. So this one's going to be tough. Leave a comment below if you have a strategy to completing this one. But honestly, I don't know if I can get anywhere past this first achievement. But at least you get a free slingshot. So it doesn't cost anything to do this achievement. For this next one, I'm going to group up three achievements. That being the Comet Enthusiast, the Pinata Time, as well as the Jar Factory. So unless you just need a large amount of one or the other, I would honestly pick up a bunch of these party boxes and just keep using them. Or set a macro or whatever you use to automatically use these kind of things. And just keep using that because... This is going to give you a 5% chance at getting a pinata, which is going to save you a ton of diamonds if you're if you're trying to do the pinata time achievement. Because anyways, the comet is already a thousand, so it doesn't really make sense to buy a bunch of these. Most of the time you're going to get a coin jar, but for 1500, a chance to get something that costs 70,000 or even the lucky block costs like 11,000. So those party boxes are so worth it. If you could just like stack up on those and use a bunch of those when you're doing this achievement hunt, I think it'd be very worth it for you guys. I'm sure you guys know you pro probably have some pinatas already broken, so it's not going to cost this much. But if you were to buy the amount of pinatas it takes to do this achievement, it'd be over 385 million diamonds, which is insane. I'm sure some people would do that if they're in high tier clans and they're balling, but I don't think you guys should do it. I think if you're already trying to do the coin jar and the common achievement, you might as well just buy the party time boxes and just get go for the 5% chance to get this. It's going to take a lot longer if you're just trying to get this pinata, but it's going to cost you so much less. I think for the vast majority of Pet Simulator 99 players are not going to be able to get this last achievement, but I do think I'm going to be able to get this before the end of the two weeks. It's going to be expensive. It's just what we got to do. Now, if you do just want to do the coin jar achievement, it is a lot of coin jars and it takes a while to fill them up. It's a lot cheaper to just buy these, but I still think the odds are better with these party boxes if you're going to be in the last area grinding anyways. Next on the list is the fishing achievement. For fishing, you need to catch about 13,000 fish, and I've estimated this will take you about 48 hours of fishing. Good news is that you can auto fish. You just have to set it up using Tiny Task or some other program. I'm sure you guys can find tutorials on how to do that. I'm not going to talk about that in this video, but this is definitely a free achievement you can do. It just takes some more AFK time, but you also get a chance at a huge, so might as well go for it. All right, so next on the list, you have to eat about 15,000 fruit to get the final fruit achievement. I honestly don't know why I put this so far down the list. It probably should be up. Again, some people automate this. I'm not going to go over the, in this video how to automate it, but some people do. Basically, you can eat 100 fruit every 100 minutes. I feel like my math might be slightly wrong. You might need to double check me here, but I believe it's going to take you four hours to do the first one, 16 hours to complete the second one after that, 75 hours after that, and then 166 hours after that. So if you're starting fresh, you're not going to be able to finish this achievement in the two weeks that we have for this clan battle. It's definitely possible for you to be able to do these three. The cost of 
all the fruit combined is a total of 1.2 million so it's not that expensive either there's just that time constraint but if you could find a way to automate this you could easily get through the third achievement all right so next we have the magic machine achievement so the magic machine achievement requires you to use the magic machine 450 times when you complete this achievement you actually get a free overload charm so it is pretty lucrative to do this if you can find some cheap magic shards if you watched my last video i showed you a method of using magic shards to make huge potions which you then sell for more than you bought the magic shards for but because of this update the magic shards actually jumped in price so you can no longer do that method and make profit so for this method i suggest using the magic machine and then making these charm stones you're basically gonna have to spend 31.5 million maybe 32 million depending on where prices are at the moment if you spend 32 million you're gonna get about 27 million worth of charm stones back that you're gonna need to sell so it has an actual cost of around 5 million diamonds which is a lot but but these clan points are priceless for a lot of people so i'm sure you're gonna be able to do it i just realized that the overload charm you get actually negates the price so that 5 million you get back plus all the charm stones actually makes it so it's basically free you just have to go ahead and sell all of the stuff which might take some time that's a good strategy if you want to do this just make a ton of charm stones get your overload charm and sell that as well as all the charm stones and you should be even so this is actually kind of a free achievement all right so now we're getting into the very annoying achievements and the ones that are really hard to calculate exactly how long they'll take so basically we have the fuse machine achievement which requires you to create 4800 pets in the fuse machine and if you haven't used the fuse machine in pet simulator 99 it can be one of the most frustrating things in the game and is why nobody uses it and nobody talks about it and you probably forgot about it honestly there is a way to automate it with tiny task but it was a pain to do and then whenever you get new pets it puts a new one ahead of yours but with more testing i'm sure i could figure out a good way to automate it it automates it for a while to be fair when i was able to get it going it took roughly like seven seconds for each one to be fused so for my calculations it'll take you about two hours of automation to get this one and then another nine hours to get the second achievement but it definitely can be done or you could just do it by hand if you have the patience to just sit there and combine all day you're obviously gonna have to use some pets but as i said before getting unused pets is pretty easy just ask your clan members or ask around honestly most people will be willing to give you a hundred thousand basic pets for free next on the list of annoying achievements is actually the merchant achievement so as you guys know you can buy six items from the merchant well i guess you can buy seven my bad I'm not sure if the last item always lets you buy two of them, but you can basically buy six or seven items from this merchant. There's basically six merchants that you can buy from if you count the traveling merchant. A few of them require you to buy things to rep up before you can buy all six slots of items. You could basically buy six or seven items from each of them, but you're going to need a total of like 3,500 bought items. So it's going to take a while. As you can see, this is my first account I started with and I am almost there. I'm 500 items away. In the past two days, I've been buying everything I possibly can. How long this one takes you depends on how far you're already into the achievement. So I'm not going to give you a rough estimate of how long it'll take, but it's going to take a while. Speaking of taking a long time, we now have the vending achievement. The vending achievement requires you to buy 10,000 items from vending machines. As you guys know, you can buy four things at a time from most of the common vending machines. And then the advanced ones, you can buy one at a time at, at varying rates. This is just another one that takes a while and how far you're going to get depends solely on how far along you already are. I don't plan on getting this last achievement. It's going to take forever. As I said, this is the count I had the longest and this is only how far I am into it. So good luck on that if, if you've just started playing the game anytime recently. All right, so this next set of achievements, we have another little group. So we have the mini chest and then the large chest achievement. The large chest achievement, it lets you get the chest breaker enchant, which is worth a whopping 108 million right now. So it's definitely worth it to do this. 
but this one's gonna take you a long time there's basically four big chests on the map the chest run doesn't count by the way just so you guys know you're gonna have to break all four chests on a map and then server hop to another server and hope that the chests aren't broken there and then do it all over again and then rinse and repeat I don't think there's an honest way I could give you a time frame on how long this will take, but just from the sound of that, you guys should know this is going to take forever. I think realistically doing this one and this one isn't the most difficult thing in the world. It's still going to take a while, but you definitely can get these first two achievements if you have the heart to keep going. And then on the other hand, we have the mini chest achievement, which requires you to break about 30,000 mini chests. Stacking chest mimic books will help as well as if you can get the chest breaker book, it'll help you break them just that much quicker and allow you to get a new one that much faster as well. I don't think there's really a time frame I can give you on this one as well because you basically just need to get those two chest mimic books which are also a hundred million in price right now because of this clan event. So good luck finding one if you guys need a chest mimic book right now. This is another one of those that just has too many factors for me to give you an accurate time frame and the cost to get it is also immense. And then next we have the daycare achievement. The daycare achievement makes it so you have to enroll 11,000 pets into the daycare. If you're online in game, it takes two hours to get your pets out of daycare. In order for you to complete all four of these achievements, you're going to have to enroll your pet every two hours for 24 days. So this is another one of those just playtime achievements that you'll get if you have played for a while. Those 26 days also depends on if you have the game pass that gives you an extra 25 daycare slots. So if you don't have the game pass for that, this just forget about it. It's going to take way too long. This clan event is only two weeks, so we only have a certain amount of time here. So if you haven't been using the daycare, you could forget about this achievement. You can't even get it, but you can definitely achieve this one. Next is the gift achievement which requires you to claim about 2,000 free gifts. As you guys know, you can get about 12 free gifts after a certain rank in Pet Simulator 99. This is just another one of those that's going to depend solely on how long you've been playing and if you've been claiming these. Honestly, I haven't even been claiming these the past few weeks, so I'm kind of screwed on this one. Hopefully, you guys have been claiming them and been playing for a while, and hopefully you can get this achievement. But this is just another time-locked one that you can do nothing about. So next is the Orb God achievement. This is another kind of time locked one. I couldn't find any conclusive tests about this achievement, so I don't want to tell you any misinformation, but basically this is just collecting things in the area that you're grinding. So this one just takes a lot of AFK grinding. It's pretty much just going to solely depend on how fast your team is and how long you've been playing. It did take me a while to get this achievement. I don't have this on all three of my accounts, so this is going to depend solely on how far you're in and how fast your team can grind. But if you don't have this, I would get your team going as soon as possible. Let me just say it straight out. I do like this clan event a lot, and I think this is the best clan event that Big Games has done so far in Pet Simulator 99. But when I realized that the merch code was an achievement, all I could think was that it makes sense. I was thinking about how good of a free to play clan event this was until I found out about these merch code achievements. These achievements require you to redeem 26 merch codes in total. Their cheapest merch costs $30 currently, and I'm pretty sure you don't even have a 100% chance to get a code on each one of those. Even if you did, it's going to cost you over 1000 USD to get all three of these achievements. So I kind of don't like that, but it's just how the game works. Buying game passes and buying merch helps support big games, which helps them make updates for the game. So you can't really complain too much about the pay to win stuff. This is just something you need money for and you're going to have to order these. So this is definitely one of the achievements I'm not going to have. So that's unfortunate, but that's just how the world works. And then finally, we have the last and hardest and dare I say impossible achievement is the angel dog. You can get this achievement by falling off the earth at the end zone. So this is basically another free achievement, but this one, as you guys can see, only two of these things exist and I'm pretty sure both of them are developer. And I've heard both of these are owned by developers, so they're not even real. I don't think it's possible at all to get this achievement. So just another unfortunate impossible one. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more people trying it, I know a lot of people have been trying to get this for a while. I don't think it's possible. I don't think you guys should try to get it. It's just a waste of your time. 
But yeah, that's the last of the list of the hard achievements to get. All right, you guys. So I try not to yap too much, but there were so many achievements to go over. I pretty much lost my voice from talking that much. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe. Remember to comment your Roblox username down below for the giveaway as always. Thank you for all the love on the videos and all the subscribers we've been getting. We've been moving so fast and I thank you guys so much. Make sure to join the Discord down below where we give away secrets and everything we're doing while we're grinding in the moment so you don't have to wait for these videos to come out. Much love again and peace out.